Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about Google Classroom, and in this video, we're going to talk about creating a new class and how you can add students and teachers. So I'm going to go to my URL, and I'm going to type in classroom. Google.com. And we'll just shorten that up. Now, I'm already logged in. Uh, normally, if I wasn't, that would yet give me a prompt to log in with my academy. When I click on the plus, it says, Do you want to join a class or create a class? And you, as the teacher, says create a class. If you don't see create a class and you only see join a class, you're going to want to reach out to me and we'll uh, fix that. Class name, I'm just going to put Academy LI test. Section, subject, room. Don't really need to fill this in. Remember, this is a tool that's built for educators around the world. Uh, so if you had like five or six sections of this, you might want to use that information. But for our purposes, don't really need that. It's going to take a minute. It's going to create a class. and open the class up into it, right? And we'll get to it, but first, to, I'm gonna add my students. I'm gonna go right over here to people, and I'm gonna click that once, and it says, oh, you're the teacher, and I can add other teachers as well. For instance, I can add, <clears throat> if I just do the first three letters um, of someone's name, their first initial and last name, or their last name, usually I'll get that person, and I'm gonna add Bob Love as my teacher, and I could add more if I wanted to. Uh, you can have as many teachers as you want. Let's say I have Mr. Mazika, and, I, and he'll get an invite on their end. <clears throat> now, it's the exact same method we do for students, and I can add anyone as a student. For instance, if I wanted to add Ms. Monteforte as a student, or if I wanted to add Ms. McKillop as a student, we could all have that right there, and that would show up in their end. So that's how you go ahead and create a class adding students, and adding teachers.